Oh. Oh. I'm about to go nuclear, ladies and gentlemen. I'm pissed. Oh, baby. I am not happy. <laughs> Welcome back to Strongman Personal Finance. We got to talk about some shenanigans that are going on on YouTube. And I'm going to prove to you that a lot of your favorite YouTubers who you watch because they have nice, pretty studios and they got pretty thumbnails with fire on them and they sound really smart because they talk really fast. There are a bunch of freaking panic instilling clouds that are the reason that banks actually collapse. Let's talk about bank runs, okay? What is a bank? You want a place to put your money. Where do you put it? You could put it in a vault. You could bury it in the backyard like a maniac clown. Or you could put your money in an institution that provides security and they give you services, they give you checks, they allow you to access your money from ATMs. They're great. Banks are great, right? And of course, banks take your money and they invest it. They buy loans, they buy treasuries. Cool. That's what the banks are, okay? But what if I told you? That banks didn't have 100% of your deposits held in cash. Yes, I've talked about this multiple times. Of course, banks don't have 100% of deposits in cash. They have investments. Now, how does a company, how does a bank in particular collapse? Well, either they make clownish investments or a bunch of panic profiteers, provocateurs, trigger a bank run because let me tell you a little secret no bank is impervious to a bank run if you create enough fear enough panic and enough concern in the populace you can literally destroy every single bank in the world so you got to be careful when you go out there and you say things oh all the banks are going down. This bank's going to go down imminently because by you saying that, that could actually bring it into fruition. Let me show you two banks you may have heard of, okay? And let me show you how these banks could easily collapse if somebody triggered a panic. So this is the consolidated balance sheet of JP Morgan. Have you heard of them? Maybe Chase? No? Okay. Okay. Well, let's look at their balance sheet. Cash and due from banks, they have $27 billion. Deposits with banks, they have $539 billion. Funds, federal funds sold and security purchased under resale agreements, $315 billion. So it looks like they have cash, cash equivalents of roughly a billion dollars, actually less, $800, $900 million, a billion dollars. That's a lot of money, right? However, when a depositor looks at their checking account and all the depositors in aggregate look at their checking accounts, they see a number far greater. If we go down, we can see that deposits total, oh my God, is that 2.3 trillion of deposits? Am I reading that correctly? Yes, 2.3 trillion of deposits, but they literally only have very liquid capital of or cash at least of roughly 800 billion 800 billion versus two something trillion if a bank run was triggered and enough people wanted to get their cash out right now jp morgan would have to start selling trading assets they would have to start selling available for sale securities they would have to start selling held to maturity securities they may even have to start auctioning off their loans oh my god and if they had unrealized losses Oh, guess what? Those become realized. That's right. Mm -hmm. JP Morgan could be taken down by panic profiteers. Bank of America, cash and cash equivalents of $230 billion. And federal funds and securities borrowed under resale agreements of $267 billion. Oh, but they have almost $2 trillion of deposits. If enough people went to Bank of America, and try to get their money out. Bank of America could too fail as well. Every single bank, there is a risk of a bank run. But what causes these? 
Well, sometimes they're legitimate. Maybe you're banking with a clown bank, okay? A clown bank is something like Silicon Valley Bank that deals with a bunch of clowns. Tech, techie clowns, SPACs, uh, unprofitable share diluting trash companies. Yeah, that was a clown bank, okay? But there are some legit banks. But you know what really pisses me off? I saw a couple videos from a couple annoying YouTubers that really, really triggered me. Because I literally said to myself, if these clowns were watched by enough people, they could trigger the collapse of every single bank that they're talking about. Because it's all about fear. If you convince enough people to withdraw cash and demand that all their deposits be removed, every single bank in the freaking world would collapse. Every single one of them. Because that's how banking is. Banks don't have enough cash to immediately give back all the money to all their depositors. <laughs> Let's look at the first video that I saw. Here's Meet Kevin. Meet Breath Kevin. <laughs> oh, Meet Kevin. Warning. 10 risky banks like Silicon Valley Bank. Now imagine you're a Meet Kevin subscriber. Let's say Meet Kevin had a billion subscribers, okay? <clears throat> and he makes this video. And he does his math and he has this formula AOCI divided by TEC minus AOCI. I don't even know. What does that mean? <laughs> but he pulls up 10 banks that could collapse. Now, maybe these banks are having some issues with a bunch of unrealized losses in available for sale securities. I can see that. I can see AOCI and I can see big negative numbers. That could be caused by unrealized losses. But you know what's even more dangerous? Putting up banks, a list of banks, and saying these risky banks could fail. Because if me, Kevin, had a billion subscribers and they saw this and they said, oh my God, I, I bank with First Foundation Bank. I bank with Ally. Oh, I, my mom has a Pacific Premier Bank Corp. He could literally trigger a bank run. And if a bunch of influencers and a bunch of people like this do this, they could potentially start a panic. This is how it happens. People pull up names of banks that may be fine if there's not a bank run. And they say, oh, look at the AOCI divi divided by TEC AOCI ratio. And everybody gets worried and concerned and they start taking their money out. And then the other people hear about it and they're like, oh crap, why are they taking money out? Oh, did you see that me Kevin video? Oh my God, what about Jay Bravo? Oh, you see that the guy with the spiky blonde hair, this is a total clown? Oh yeah, him, yeah. Oh, I'm going to withdraw all my money now. And everybody starts taking money out and the banks all implode. This is what causes it. Silicon Valley Bank, if everybody didn't rush the bank, maybe it would have been okay. Maybe. But everybody rushed the bank and said, give me my money. <clears throat> and they ran out of it. That's what happened. <coughs> so that's me, Kevin, starting panic. This is not a good video to post. This is very dangerous stuff, okay? Next, we have another clown. Do you, what, do you see what these people are doing? They're profiting off of panic. They're instilling panic. And when you instill panic, that's when you can just destroy the financial system or destroy a couple banks. Now, these clowns, if one of these clowns goes viral and they instill a panic, I don't know. You think they're going to have consequences? No. They'll get ad revenue. They'll get their YouTube money. They'll get their sponsorships. They'll be A-OK. -okay. But you, if one of your banks gets shut down because of a bank run instilled by one clown or multiple clowns pumping out propaganda, well, that can be a problem. Look at these thumbnails. Okay, mine are ironically fiery, but I'm not sitting here being like, oh, the world's going to end. Oh, my God. <clears throat> but here he is right here. Warning. Now these 10 banks are about to collapse. This kind of stuff is dangerous. Now, do I think Jay Bravo is responsible for banks going under? No, I don't. Okay? Do I think me, Kevin, is going to pull under a bank. No, I don't. But in the aggregate, it's the fear that these guys are contributing to that could destroy the banks or some banks, okay? It's a self-fulfilling prophecy. Do you get it now? These people are dangerous. Oh, but they have lots of subscribers and you don't. Okay, whatever. <clears throat> and of course, we have Steven Van Meter, who's bullish 
both on in good time or not bearish, sorry, both in good times and bad times. And here he is. Regional banks are crashing. They are dumping stocks. These banks are next. 475,000 views. <laughs> Can you not see what I'm saying here, ladies and gentlemen? These are the reasons that banks go under, okay? Read up on bank runs. We know the history of bank runs. It's all about panic and human emotion and fear. And people that stoke fear are probably somewhat responsible for it. Now, like I said, none of these clowns by themselves could do that. Maybe. <laughs> Imagine if Stephen Van Meter destroyed 10 banks. That would be hilarious. Well, that wouldn't be funny. But in the aggregate, yes. Especially in the age of social media. So back in the day, bank runs, man, like... Imagine like 1920, you probably have to like read in the paper. Oh, I just saw in the paper that uh, hippity floopity floppity bank's about to go bankrupt. We need to go get our money out. Oh, let me uh, go ride my horse to my grandma's house. Hey, grandma, get your money out of the bank. Oh! Like it would take a lot of time to spread information. With modern technology, YouTube, Twitter, these panics can spread like that. They can happen even faster. I think bank runs are even more likely, more risky more likely to happen in the modern age because information gets diffused, diffused so quickly that sometimes banks can't even react. The panic is so fast, boom, it just it sinks them. Just saying, okay? So be careful what you listen to. Steven Van Meter, I, I, this guy, oh, Jay Bravo. Oh, he's got spiky hair. <clears throat> Meat breath, who, of course, we have a history together. <laughs> and all the other clowns. You can take out, if you have enough influence, you can take out any bank in the world. Make sense? Let's do some comments. <clears throat> Holy crap, there's a lot of comments. My daughter wants you to put a tutu on. <laughs> uh, yeah, that'll be the day. Fear hype equals ad. Of course, of course. Yeah, fire, bro. Minting money by talking about clown topic. Nothing going to happen, weak boy. Weak boy. If you do VT versus VQ, the FDIC will ensure. Oh, man, I need to step in and save the economy by making that video. <laughs> According to the Fufu, there are three balance Yes, there are three balance sheets. <clears throat> hey, strong man, when is it beneficial to hold VT in a taxable account? When you've already maxed your tax advantage accounts. Or you need the money in the near term. Tax advantage accounts are more for like long-term retirement. If you need money in the near term, like, oh, I need money in 10 years and I can't access my 401k. Okay, maybe you could put VT in a taxable account. Just saying. <clears throat> What's up, bras? Okay. Hi, strong man. Okay, we already answered that. <clears throat> Why are you shirtless talking about money? Because I can do whatever I want. It's my YouTube channel. Huh? Everyday meat breath is fear mongering. It pays me. He's making money, money, money. <laughs> <laughs> this live stream is cringe. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What did I do? I didn't fluff meat breath enough. What cringe my mom had. Oh, God. <laughs> Get rid of the banks. Get rid of the banks. Okay, yeah. What, what are you going to replace it with? Nobody's talking about how the Fed handled this chaos. Every grifter on YouTube is saying your money is not safe in these banks. <clears throat> Dude, the reason the Fed exists is partially to prevent this kind of stuff. <laughs> they're the banks of the they're the they're the lender of last resort. They're there to stop this stuff from happening. People don't even like I'm not like a Fed historian, but I know like some of the simple history of the Federal Reserve. OK, and one of its jobs is to be the lender of last resort. Just saying. OK. Oh, my God. The world's ending. Oh, oh, oh. So many fire thumbnails. It works. It works, brother. People start to capitulate. If Fed raises interest rates by 50 basis points, retail going to crap their bets. Oh, baby, please, please destroy the market. My Lord Powell, please. I will give praise unto you for all eternity if you destroy the market, my good sir. Oh, baby. <coughs> what about the Graham Stephan? What about the bank? Oh, uh, Yada. Actually, that would be hilarious if that collapsed. Graham Stephan, it wasn't my fault. I, I wouldn't have known. Ha, he, ha. And then he gets 100,000 more subscribers. <clears throat> Dangerous people might blow more money to buy toilet paper. Hampton Roads. All right. You're, you're, getting, you're going in timeout. You're not being banned. 
but you're going to timeout. You can't flood my uh, my page. Holy crap, dude. Why wouldn't it let me block this clown? Whatever. I'll do it the next stream. Strongman single-handedly crashed Tattooed Chef on fear. Did Tattooed Chef crash? <laughs> when it goes bankrupt, I'll uh, I'll make a video about it. But it's basically dead. Let's see. Well, I can't put these clowns in timeout. It won't let me. Oh, here we go. I'll put somebody in timeout. I'll put Hampton Roads in timeout. Probably my stalker. Strongman, I tried to buy VT in a supplier at the work, and they told me my only option was to go into an actively managed growth mutual fund. Thoughts? That sucks. Is that really it? That That's horrible, man. I don't know what to tell you. I mean, if that's all your employer offers. <laughs> man. How come Rich Cooper charges 1200 for his consult? I don't know. The banks are collapsing. Why are we worried about Rich Cooper right now? What did I miss? I just took a dump on a bunch of people. We ever go after Andre Jigmore? I am so tired of him. Yeah, Mr. Spray Tan. He's a clown. <clears throat> Strongman. Andre Duke says if you have over 250k to bank, you can just call them and have them fix it. What? <laughs> Andre, I, let me tell you about the banking system because I am a magician. Peekaboo! I know everything. Yeah. BlockFi is great. FTX is great. Yeah. Why are you making fun of me, Strongman? You're just a bad actor. You, you have no reasonable criticisms of me. You're just jealous because I have a big YouTube channel. And I have a better spray tan. Look how pale you are, strong man. I'm so tan. All the girls love me. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Last couple of comments. I was thinking about buying John. Ant oh, God. <clears throat> Did you read? Uh, not yet. I've been, I've been a little busy. I'll send it again. I'll read it. You get a debate independent. He called you out saying you have banana. Oh, no. Oh, oh. oh baby. Oh. <laughs> if he wants, what are we going to talk about? Highly on clown stock. Let's see. I block. I couldn't put him a timeout. I had to block him. All right, guys. Uh, let's see. If the bank says a click, can we buy VT straight from Strongman? I'm not selling it. I don't, I don't sell VT, so you can't buy it from me. <laughs> Make it last 10 seconds, please. All right. Highly on Fartbox. It is. It's a clown company. All right. I'm checking out. Woo!